So in this video, I'm going to discuss how to use the table of areas under the normal curve. By the way, this is the second part of our discussion in normal distribution. There are some steps on how to find the area that corresponds to z-value. First, draw or sketch a normal curve and locate the given z-value on the normal curve. Second, shade the region of the curve according to the condition of the z-value whether it is below, above, or between. Third step, use the table of the area under the normal curve to find the corresponding area. Fourth, choose the appropriate operation based on step 2 and step 3. There are three possible conditions that may arise. First, when the z-value is to the left, or any related term, just write the value we obtained in step 3. Second condition, when the z-value is to the right, or any related terms above or greater than, subtract 1 by the obtained value in step number 3. The third condition is when the shaded region is in between the two value or two z-value, subtract the biggest or the bigger value by the smaller value obtained in step 3. And the last step will be table the shaded region and draw a conclusion. To give you an example, let z be a standard normal random variable. Find the following probabilities. First, probability that z is less than negative 1.64. Second, probability that z is greater than negative 0.15. And the third one is the probability that z is greater than negative 1.34 but less than 1.58. To give you the first example, we have here the probability that z is less than negative 1.64. And the first step is to draw and locate. As you can see, I have located here negative 1.64. And I've drawn a vertical line that corresponds to negative 1.64. The second step is to shade the region of the curve. Since it is less than any number less than negative 1.64 is included in this probability. So what will be the shaded region to the left or to the right? To answer that, it will be to the left of the negative 1.64 because it is less than as you can see also uh, the arrow if we're going to make this an arrow it pointed to the left hence it only implies that the shaded region must be on the left portion so to locate negative 1.64 using the table we have here negative 1.6 on the left and 0 0.04 on the top most portion. So we are going to find its intersection, negative 1.6, 0 0.04. So negative, we have negative 1.64, its corresponding uh, area is 0 0.0505. 0 .0 if we're going to recall 4.1, since the shaded region is to the left of the z value, the value obtained in the table is the probability. It only implies that the probability that corresponds to the z is less than negative 1.64 is 0 0.0505. As you can see, this portion here has an area which is 0 0.0505. In symbol, the probability that z is less than negative 1.64 is equal to 0 0.0505. So that will be the for the first example. So for the second example, we have the probability that z is greater than negative 0 0.15. So I've drawn and locate negative 0 0.15. Second is to shade the region of the curve. Since it is greater than 
any number greater than negative 0.15 is included on the re shaded region. So we have here to the right. As you can see on the table, we have here negative 0.1 and 0 0.05 and its intersection will be 0 0.4404. And if we're going to recall, since the shaded region is to the right of the z value, we are to subtract the obtained value to 1. Subtracting 0 0.4404 to 1, it will give us 0.5596. So this portion here, the shaded portion here is area, is it, its area is 0 0.5596. In and if we're going to solve it uh, algebraically, uh, the probability that z is greater than negative 0 0.15 is equal to 1 minus the probability that z is less than negative 0 0.15. So that will be 1 minus 0 0.4404. We have 0 0.5596. And that is all for this video.